I'm Marie and I got another question about ecstatic dance so I wanted to answer it for anyone to hear. The question was, uh, are you embarrassed to dance in public, like to dance in front of people? How do you do that? How do you let yourself do that? My friend asked me. And my friend seemed really intrigued because I think she can't do that or won't do that. Like, for her, different things are difficult. So to answer that question, I guess my fir the first part of my answer is about values. Um, as a kid, I didn't want to be seen. I didn't want to be perceived and judged. So... It was really hard for me to dance or sing or even speak in front of people for a long time. Um, in an environment of dancing like a school dance, like in junior high or even high school, you know, I was very nervous. I was pretty much terrified of being judged and seen dancing. But um, I feel like growing up is, you know, a big part of growing up is the transformation from having the values that I was handed as a kid at church, at school, and in my family. And taking those values and looking at them and deciding uh, which of them I'm going to keep as valuable and part of my uh, life's mission and which I'm going to let go of and choose something that's better for me considering my unique needs. So, yeah, it's been a process to move from the shame that I was handed about my body and women's bodies and fat bodies and take that shame and shed it like let go of it so that I didn't have to waste energy hating myself and I could instead do what I'm on earth to do which is to you know express my truth be my authentic self another important part of why I can dance in front of people without being embarrassed is about uh, it's about respecting myself as um, a valid person and the things that I want to do like dancing and singing as uh, pretty normal human experiences kind of like talking or walking or eating food or sleeping like I feel like dancing is a really basic thing to do, and I don't think I need to be embarrassed of it. Um, there are many kinds of dance, like some that are more planned and skilled and maybe practiced, and then kinds that are more spontaneous or maybe, you know, less skilled. And I feel like there's room for all the different kinds of dancing, but I feel like, honestly, fat dancing is probably my favorite kind of dancing. I feel like fat dancing, uh, I have more to dance with, and it's one of the most beautiful kinds of dance. Um, I was dancing in my driveway the other day. It was a sunny day, and I just couldn't not dance. Like, I had to go out there and dance. And I felt like by dancing as a fat woman alone in my driveway, in, you know, dancing in public where people could see like neighbors and people who are passing by in their cars that I was modeling what I want the world to be like. So I was modeling that I'm valid, I'm worthy of respect, and I belong at the table of humanity. Um, my fatness is valid. There's nothing problematic or embarrassing or anything that needs to be solved with my fatness. I'm just an okay person. So I feel like modeling modeling the world that I want to live in is a way to try to help create that world. And if I can be a good example of that kind of authenticity and bravery, then maybe other people can see that and can decide that they're going to do the same thing. And if someone wants to laugh at me for being um, a fat woman dancing in public, so be it. Like maybe their laughter could have a joy a joy hidden in it or I could laugh back with some joy but I think uh, an important point is that my friend is a mom and she's a good mom I see her being really kind to her kids and helping them be the people who they are 
Like she works really hard to enable her kids to be themselves. And I trust that my friend is going to treat me the same way. So I trust that my friend loves me as I am and wants me to be who I am and is going to support me in that. So for me, it's okay for me to be myself around her to the full extent that I, that I can be. And likewise, I can be a good mom to myself. I feel like to let myself be who I am in the driveway or at a park or all the places that I might dance in public um, is to nurture myself and that's what I'm on earth to do. Also, just uh, one more last thing is that I feel like dancing is good medicine and so is singing. And sometimes like there are things in life that are hurtful or stressful or cause suffering. And dancing is like a great remedy to that or a way to like protect myself from that if something's hurting me. Dancing and singing um, are really classic comfort, like lull lullabies or um, the dancing that uh, a god or a goddess can do to create, like a world creating or a world destroying dancing can be very powerful. There's a lot of energy in dancing and in moving our bodies in ways that, you know, it doesn't make sense in the sense of like eating a bite of food or drinking a drink of water is emotion that we need to do to survive and dancing for me, dancing is about surviving another way, not dance, not to survive logistically, but to survive uh, as an energetic being in this world. And my life was a journey of learning to love myself unconditionally. And I definitely have boundaries of what I'm going to do that's okay socially, but dancing is well within the range of acceptable behavior of what's okay for me to do. So I'm going to dance. Yeah. Yeah, thanks to you to my friend for asking this question and thank you to you for hearing my answer.